Hello, good evening and welcome back. So diversity is our strength, so why is the European Union not enjoying the fact that Turkey says millions of migrants may head to the European Union? They, of course, have been taking in many, many, some say 2.7 million, it depends whose estimates you take, uh, from apparently they're all Syrian refugees. Of, of course, they're not. Uh, they're migrants of all shapes and sizes. Um, but I say that, they're mainly just working age men. But nonetheless, of course, we've got to use photos which include women and children, otherwise we're not balanced. <laughs> You've got to include the minorities, you should know that by now. But seeing as diversity is apparently our strength, then the European Union, of course, should not have been stopping Turkey from letting these people in for so long. And as we all know, Greece does not take very kindly to Islamic immigrants. And of course, they've had uh, their fair share of disagreements with Turkey over the past few years in particular, but with anything European, of course, these wars have waged for centuries, if not millennia, especially when you're including Greece into these things, the, the birthplace of our civilized society, I dare say. But Turkey, who has agreed with the European Union, so basically just Erdogan and um, Merkel, to say, okay, fine, we will take in these refugees, we will keep them here if you give us money. And Merkel is saying, yeah, um, but we're going to continue with our efforts in the Middle East, which is going to give you more of a problem, and then we're not going to give you the money that we, we promised. Uh, about half of it has been dispersed. And so Turkey is finally saying, yeah, well then, no, we're not going to take this anymore. We're actually going to open up the gates, and we're not going to stop people leaving Turkey to move further through Europe. Of course, if the people who came to Turkey were refugees, then they'd be looking to abide by the law and stay in the, the first country that provides them safe haven and would not be looking to illegally cross into other countries. Um, because, of course, if you're grateful for being out of your war-torn area, you're going to take any refuge that you can and you're not going to try and cheat your way through the system in order to get to a country with better welfare, which is exactly what they've been doing, which is why Greece has had to respond with a greater military presence. And of course, Bulgaria being on the border as well is also having to respond in, in kind, but they're not being so aggressive. It's not making the news as much as the, the Greeks' response because of the islands of the, the Greek archipelago so close to Turkey, just off the coast. So they mention here, the Turkish president was warned has warned that millions of migrants and refugees will soon head towards Europe. He was speaking after announcing Turkey could no longer enforce a 2016 deal with the EU to prevent migrants entering Europe. Erdogan said Turkey could not cope with a new wave of refugees after an escalation of the Syrian conflict. Bear in mind, yes, of course, that the Middle East suffered badly under both uh, Obama and Bush, both Republican and Democrat. But thankfully, with Trump trying to de-escalate and pull his forces out, there shouldn't be a problem. So this is much more of European making. Should Erdogan be held more accountable for meddling in the Middle East as well? Quite possibly. Should he be allowed to um, threaten the rest of the European Union with allowing people through his country, uh, essentially using mass migration as a weapon, as I mean, <laughs> any of us with half a brain have realised for a hell of a long time that mass migration on these scales is most certainly a weapon because it's not people who are trying to assimilate of course it's people who are trying to push their way of life onto other people um, play the system break the rules and just take everything that they can without actually trying to help out their host I'm not going to liken people to parasites even if you're thinking that so a young boy died on a boat capsized off the Greek island of Lesbos on Monday, Greek police said. Oh no, let's let's pick those child and let's let's remember back to the photo of that poor young boy dead on the beach. Y yeah, that, that that must be okay to then allow millions of, of migrants through because of a photo of one boy. It's like, no, I, I like case studies too, but when it comes to these things, you're not helping. It was the first reported fatality since Turkey opened its border last week. It didn't take long. But it is important, and Lauren Southern has pointed this out in Borderless, that you don't help refugees trying to get across, otherwise word gets back and people know that, hey, we might as well make a break for it, because if we are in danger, these other countries as well help us out. Whereas if they're ignored or turned back or capsized, then the people will not try to flee from their own country. Most of them are lied to about how much better life is in another country, as, again, Lauren Southern pointed out so poignantly in Borderless and that they wish they could go back to their own country, 
but due to the NGOs, even if they've had relations with uh, the governments, they've the the migrants have burned their passports because they're not supposed to be able to be identified, and that helps them with their um, migration attempts. So they can no longer go back to the country because they can't be identified. So it isn't helping the individual people either by encouraging them to move across the the world or the continent using these methods as they aren't any happier where they end up than where they were. If anything, they're unhappier. The only people who are happier are people who are planning to undermine the, the countries in the West and aren't actually hoping to, to help out. So you're not doing any good by encouraging these people into your countries in the West. You're not helping yourselves and you're not helping the people who, who need help and would actually want to take it. So, with that in mind, a Turkish official accused the Greek authorities of killing a Syrian man who was trying to breach the border on Monday. Athens denied the allegation. An unverified video showed a man on the ground with blood on his neck. Nearly a million Syrians have fled to the Syrian-Turkish border since December, amid heavy fighting in the Idlib region between Turkish-backed rebels and Syrian government forces. Turkey is already hosting 3.7 million Syrian refugees, as well as migrants from other countries such as Afghanistan, but previously stopped them from leaving for Europe, uh, including places like Egypt that, um, I believe, Obama wanted to intervene on in, in Egypt. So you've also got, of course, migrants coming in from Africa, they're not heading to Turkey so much unless they can get in under the guise of being a, a Syrian refugee. They are instead trying to go more for the Strait of Gibraltar and across the, the top of Africa into Italy and Spain and Greece, just through the Mediterranean. But Turkey as well, if they can get to the land on the east. In a televised speech, Erdogan said the EU would had provided no help for resettling Syrian refugees in safe zones inside Syria. Basically saying, hey, if you're trying to help us out, actually help them out in their own countries. Funny that. 27 times more effective, isn't it? Mm. The Turkish leader gave no evidence for his figures, while Greece said about 1,000 migrants had reached its eastern Asian islands from Turkey since Sunday. In addition, Greece said it had stopped almost 10,000 migrants from crossing its land border in 24 hours. Some migrants tossed stones and metal bars when stopped, and Greek border guards fired tear gas. Not exactly people who you'd want into your country if they're fighting your, your border patrol. <laughs> then they're clearly not the peace peace-loving, peaceful migrants and refugees trying to come in for a better way to live. No, no, they, they are trying to take over the country by force. But again, diversity is a strength, apparently. So the 2016 EU-Turkey deal was proposed as a solution to the migrant crisis in which almost a million refugees and migrants arrived in the European Union in 2015 and thousands died in mass drownings. That should have been a good start to say, yes, people will die if they try to come across. Not because we're killing them, but just because hey, it's dangerous and people will die, so don't do it. But the humanitarian efforts say so you've got to do it. Mm. So the EU and Turkey, so Germany, made a deal that saw Syrian refugees who arrived on Greek islands sent back to Turkey. In return, Turkey received 6 billion euros in EU aid for migrants and refugees. I believe only 3.2 billion has been dispersed so far, though. So they haven't actually got it. For every Syrian person removed from Greece to Turkey, another would be resettled from Turkey to the EU. Not sorting the problem out, just moving the people into the European Union. Even when Merkel said with her, their million refugees that, oh, this multiculturalism failed. European Union agreed to work towards lifting requirements for Turkish citizens by the end of June 2016. And after the deal was agreed, the number of migrants arriving in Greece declined sharply. So Turkey did uphold their side of the bargain. So moving on, EU Council President Charles Michael and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will go to the board with Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis on Tuesday. There we are. Um, Lesbos and Chios are so close to Turkey, as you can see, and Bulgaria just at the top there. So this is, um, Erdogan said, either we bring these people to a dignified life in their own land or everyone will get their share of this burden. Now the unilateral sacrifice period is over. So yeah, saying it's, it's not on us. Help the people in their own country or actually take responsibility for your actions. Greece, of course, didn't like this because what have they done other than just be next to Turkey? Saying Turkey, instead of curbing the traffickers' channels of migrants and refugees, has itself turned into a trafficker. There's not a lot Turkey can do, though. Um, they're, a bit, they're a bit weak, essentially. This relocation of people has nothing to do with international law regarding the right of asylum, which concerns only individual cases, the statement said. So suggesting that mass migration is not... Um, legal movement. 
Frontex says it's examining how best to help Greece with the rapid deployment of EU border guards and already has nearly 400 personnel in and around the Greek islands, 60 officers in Bulgaria, and a smaller contingent in the Evros region at the Greek-Turkish border. So obviously things are escalating. Um, Greece and Bulgaria don't want to take in the refugees. And similarly how Trump is trying to get Mexico to be his wall for migrants coming in from the south, the EU is trying to get Turkey to be its wall for migrants coming in from the east, but the wall is crumbling, and therefore the problem is just shifting a little bit further west. Uh, now into Greece and Bulgaria, seeing as Turkey is the bottleneck, now it's slowly opening up, in which case the, the wall of the buffer has to be larger, and it's now falling onto Greece and Bulgaria. So we'll have to see how these things unfold, but for now, Erdogan is actually using mass migration as a weapon, uh, whether or not his regime will last, if it's seen to be undermining the, the Western way of life, and if he's not a person in charge that the West would like, I'm sure something uh, will happen to him very soon. But for the time being, this is where mass migration has left us, with policies actually encouraged by the European Union that now they no longer seem to support. So until next time, have a good one.